All right, so we're back. Fresh off a little lunch break. We got Excessive mm. taken on Vicious uh, for the semi-pro championship right here at the Phoenix Open. Big Thanks game. you guys for tuning in to the uh, PSP webcast. I got Nick Sloviak up here from Aftershock to help us out with this game. Um, so it's kind of cool to see, you know, Vicious continuing to represent the Midwest. Oh, without a doubt. And they're doing a stand-up job at it. Yeah. yeah. They're doing a really good job. Um, and they're, they, you know, just the name Vicious from what's done and that, like just progressing it um, and them winning series titles the last couple of years. And now here they are in the finals. First event of the year. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And so it's, it's going to be a great game, too. Uh, they dismantled excessive the first time they played them. It wasn't yeah. even really close. Yeah. So, but you know, with the you know they got Thomas Taylor out there, Rich Telford in the back, his gun off the break is going to be you know pretty strong. And then they got Conrad Wrangle over here, Junior Brown. And here we go off the break. See the start. See what Excessive can do here if they can handle Vicious. Vicious destroyed him the first game they played early in the preliminaries. Oh, so Vicious, vicious losing, losing one off the break. Of the yeah. Snake. Vicious losing one off the break. So let's see if Conrad can for Excessive can get into the snake. Oh, they uh, lose the back, back center, center as player. well. Thrown out of the snake corner. Yeah, he takes it right in the face. So, and here comes Conrad. Yep. Nice job getting in there, but he gets taken out as well immediately. So, over. out of bounds. Oh, he ran out of bounds. So that's yep. a mistake. And here comes cutting into the inside of the field. Nice job by Thomas Taylor, and he's going to run and trade out with the back center. So, that's going to make it a two on one situation. Yeah, three. Three, three on one? Three, yeah, three on players, one. The one back three to. That, that's it. Vicious guy takes the walk. So, nice job by. Nice move by Thomas Taylor. Yeah, coming out of nowhere out of that snake. So Thomas Taylor, nice job coming up there, cutting up the center of the field. Conrad, uh, he got caught trying to get a little bit too far in that uh, the snake 50. Um, good job before that, though. So excessive doing a really good job of shooting off the break. Getting that kill on the snake side, yep. And, you know, if you look at their squad, I mean, like, Vicious definitely plays aggressive, um, and that's how they were able to beat excessive before, and I think they had a penalty as well. But, um, but if excessive is going to be able to, they need to get, and Thomas Taylor needs to have a game. Rich Telford needs to be shooting people off the break, oh, yeah. and they need to get uh, people getting uh, getting up on that uh, on the Dorino side of the field. Yeah, to say they just stay controlled. You know, with Vicious plays with that aggressive attitude, and they keep pushing forward. You know, we got Rich in the back commanding everybody. You know, yeah. you hear his voice. He knows paintball. He just tells his guys what to do. You know, stay cool, shoot your guns, fill those lanes. Vicious will run into them. They got you know have to play smart. Vicious has to play smart and not do that. Um, but you know, guys have to have games. This is for first and second place. Yeah, I you mean, know, you for, bring, this is it. This is this is why you came here. Yep. So this is the time to have a big game. Big players have big games. Yes, sir. Um, so we got about just about a minute here to uh, to go before the start of this next point. So what happened to you guys this event? Uh, better than World Cup. But yeah, better than World Cup. Um, came in with a new team again this year. You know, cut down the rosters. We actually have ten guys on our team. Um, so we had to tell two guys, you know, you're not playing. Mm -hmm. um, but that first game we came in. You know, we were feeling really good, um, and we did okay. You did good. We did all right. We beat yeah. X Factor. Yeah, we beat. Oh, we beat. We beat Infamous. Uh, infamous. Infamous. Yeah, we I'm beat sorry. him pretty infamous. good. And you know, for Psalm, that was pretty sweet. He like, enjoys beating Infamous. Yeah. A lot of his old teammates from there. Um, and and then, beat him down. Yeah, we beat him down good. It felt good. Uh, but then the next morning, we woke up and we ate that. Well, did you come? Thank I mean, you, thank you, did Iron you Man. feel kind of like uh, I think Ironman? Well, I mean, look, Ironman are playing it for first and second, but those yeah. are the teams you have to beat. You know, I mean, you guys mm -hmm. want to get to just, that level. Just like any other team, though, that's how you gotta treat them. But they definitely humbled us. Here we go with the break. All right, let's see the break. Apple teams, uh, no penalties so far. We've only seen one point. Penalties have played a factor in a couple matches, especially in the semi-pro division. Uh, oh, so they lose Conrad Wrangle off the off the break, trying to get in a little box behind Snake One. Yeah. Now they got Thomas Taylor in there and the vicious spreading the field. Good field spread. Oh, Rich yeah. Telfer dying out of the back center. Dying out of the back center there. Uh, looks like Vicious is playing a little late back though. They're staying back. They're shooting their guns. Film the snake. Refs checking them for Vicious. Vicious loser snake player. Looks like Dalton dying out of that snake. And we got a four on three. Vicious with four moving up. Vicious pretty up in the. Pretty much up in the middle of the field. So Thomas Taylor's gonna have a oh, look at Greg Pauly. Man, he's for a man his size, he's he moved pretty quick. quick. Yeah. I say I saw earlier Ironman playing. Paxson looked running pretty slow there. Paxson's a pretty big guy, but Pauly. Pauly's a baller, dude. A freight train right there. Yeah, he's a baller. Love I love Greg Pauly. <laughs> So right now, Greg Pauly in the back, uh, snake corner for Vicious, and so we got uh, a three he, on three. He's mirrored by Excessive's uh, Thomas Taylor. Pauly backing up, doing some work, getting a little sneaky. Thank you. So yeah, let's see now. 
Thomas didn't have quite the game that he should, that he can have that first match. Uh, I'm sorry, the last match. He played okay, he played good, but that first point, man, that's showing what Thomas can do. Stepping up. Oh, we see. Vicious sneaking over to the snake from the tall tower, center of the field. And. Oh, well, it looks like uh, one of the accessible players dying off that back corner or off the stand up on that uh, Dorito side of the field. So now it's just Junior Brown over there. So it's two on three right now. And Junior Brown gets taken oh. out. So it looks like Vicious is going to be tying this game up unless yeah, and Thomas. There goes Thomas falls. So there's Thomas Taylor getting shot out of that back bunker and gets a couple extra bonus balls, it looks like. Now there's some uh, paint on that guy's, the Vicious guy's loader. I wonder if we're going to check that out. Let's see if they call this guy clean. I need a flag. And the point is good. So the point's good, so it's all tied up at one apiece here. In case you guys just tuned in, the rules are the same for the semi-pro division as they are for the pros. So it's a race to seven, 20-minute uh, regulation, mm -hmm. two-minute majors, one-minute minor majors stay on the board the entire time. Minors come off if you lose the point. Um, so as far as the field goes, it seems like where the, where, the, where the play has gone, the styles of play is it's, yeah, there, there is aggressive stuff that can happen down the snake side of the field, but yeah. it's more like get guys into the snake and then start smashing down that Dorito side. Like Ryan Moorhead, that's one of the, one of the reasons Philly's doing a good job is because Fedorov and Moorhead are doing an awesome job of getting into those Doritos yeah, and chopping people down. Good, good double team work over there. Um, and then say with the snake being as, kind of as big as it is, you mm -hmm. see a lot of guns off the break yeah. pointed that way. And mm -hmm. so, you know, even say watching Tampa Bay Damage, they're the first guys that I, like, Holiday, going down from the corner to that Dorito 50. Mm -hmm. You know, that was like, that was the first thing I saw watching some of the pro games. And, you know, it, other teams have noticed that and they're working it, you know, with Fedorov and Moorhead just double teaming it up that Dorito side. And definitely a different game than it was, you know, with them playing the Russians this game than it was in the prelims. Yeah, so just so. about uh, 30 seconds left for the start of this next match. Um, so you guys picked up some players from uh, Avalanche. Yeah, we picked up uh, three guys from Avalanche. Uh, Drew Templeton, Chris Osseen, and Ian Martin. Guys that I have played with for the last seven years. Nice. Well, I started playing paintball with those guys, and now we're back together. So how's the, how is the vibe, though? You know, how's the vibe on your guys' team? Uh, the chemistry is definitely there, and it's good. We're all, I mean, we've all put the time in. Um, we've been playing forever together. You know, we've got, we, took the, we took the split, and uh, now we're back together. We want to win. Like, it's not just saying, I want to win. It's, you know, we really want to win. You know, you can say you want to win, but until you actually go out there and do it, it's totally talk, talk is cheap. Yes, sir. But, uh, but, but I, no, I, I mean, you guys got a good vibe. I mean, it's just going to be a matter of time. So we're looking at this uh, semi-pro final right here. Excessive yeah. taking on Vicious. Thomas Taylor dropping out that little cake. Yeah, Thomas Taylor oh. getting shot out there. Now Conrad getting shot as well. So it's just Rich Telford over here, and he's going to have to get small in there because uh, – Vicious is going to be able, uh, going to be able to put him in. And there's yep. no guns on this side right now. No one is shooting at the snake side. Oh, no, really like, like he's having gun problems though. Snake one's having gun problems. Let's say Vicious is all across the back, all three back bunkers. Say so it doesn't look like they're playing that that aggressive. You know, off the break, they're getting to their spots and they're shooting their guns. You know, it's worked out. They're getting those kills off the break now. So the snake player's uh, looking like he's having some issues with his equipment. His loader is um, off his gun. We have a five on three with Vicious in favor. Finally got his gun back up and working. Oh, and Rich gets clipped. It's rare you see Rich lose a gunfight like that. Rich doesn't that's, lose a lot of gunfights. He's got a lot of practice at him. And that's true. You never, you really rarely ever see him lose a gunfight. But yeah, just got just clipped in his goggle as he's trying to come back in. And now Vicious is just feasting over here on the snake side of the field and getting a shot cross field, the back corner of the Dorito, taking Junior Brown out of that center. And they blow the horn. Vicious take that one. Yeah, so Vicious is going to go up two. Five up. Yeah, five up. Nice job. Body. Well, that was a good point for Vicious. Say, yeah. you know, we talked about them being really aggressive, but, you know, I'm always, they're only taking the, you know, they're taking the, the back center, the, you know, the corners, that, mm -hmm. that can over there on the Dorito side, and they're just shooting their guns, and they're getting the kill off the break. Now. They got Thomas that last one. Do you think Vicious will ma eventually make the, the step up to pro? Is that P Pauly's vision, or what do you think? I think they will eventually. I mean, that's their goal. Mm -hmm. That's clearly their. I mean, it's everyone's goal. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to. I mean, they've been they've been together for a long time. Um, I think it's their goal, um, and you know, they keep this up this year. We'll see what happens next year. You know. Yeah. True. True. Um, 
a lot of changes, you know, over the last couple of years and with how things have been going. But you know, I think that's definitely their goal. And if they keep progressing the way they are and winning these tournaments and playing together as a team, then yeah, I definitely think they could do that. We're looking in on the vicious pits right now. Now we're in on excessive pits. I love those. Love those cameras. <laughs> it's cameras. nice to get nice to see, look in there and see what's going on. And some teams are like a well-oiled machine. Sometimes guys are getting crazy and yelling at each other. But it takes teamwork to make the dream work. Yes, sir. So what kind of training did uh, Shock get in in the offseason? We got a lot of indoor practicing. Uh, driving up to Stinger Paintball in Wisconsin. Uh, we had a really nice weekend. A lot of, almost all of us drove down to St. Louis. Drew Templeton lives down there. Went and got a good practice in the field. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, you know, practicing ourselves um, and just talking it up, you know. Learning the field, walking. We walked the field probably more than we played it. You know, just going over <coughs> the shots. No one can have an excuse where you get on the field and you don't know a shot. And that's what you have to do. You right, so fields. on the breakout, let's see if Excessive can keep all five alive, and it looks like they do. Five up, both sides. And uh, Vicious losing two players pretty much. Simultaneously uh, there. Yeah, simultaneously at the back center in the little box behind the snake. Making those quick bumps out, Phil. Now so say like Vicious. Three on five right now, and let's see if Excessive, oh yeah, so another Vicious player coming out of the little box, and now it's just Conrad Rangel over here oh. on this side of the field. Now, he needs to get, like, no one's shooting at him right now. No, no, no. Is there a player? Well, I think it's the, a Dorito one. Yeah, there the Dorito, is a Dorito yeah, one. Yeah, Dorito one is still in. So I that's can't. who's shooting at Conrad. At first, I thought that he was had this whole side well, and no one was shooting at him. Conrad should be, he should be blinded out, though, by that, that stand-up temple there in the, fifth, in the middle of the field. Um, I don't know if he really has to worry. I think the back corner now, might, this, the Vicious' this Dorito corner might have him. Yep, there yep. Conrad finally gets a shot cross field on the back corner. On the Dorito side. So now we got five vicious, or five excessive and one vicious. Oh, he's making a run for it over there, the vicious guy. And he, wow. Oh, wow, he's still alive, and I don't think anybody knows where he is. No. I think Rich, no, Rich oh. knows where he is. And he takes the bunker with him. Yeah. <laughs> so here comes excessive. Going to tie it up with 15 minutes, a little under 15 minutes left. Good point there by excessive. No, they looked like they played that one a little bit slower. Yeah, Guns you know, Excessive has played well, except for the game they played against Vicious. That was their only game that really they got destroyed. Yeah. Um, other than that, like, they, they beat down the Vipers um, yesterday uh, in a game that didn't really matter. Uh, and then, because they knew that they were going to be playing the Vipers again today. Mm -hmm. But in, in the same, at the same time, it did really matter because it sets a tone. Yeah, you know? I know what I mean. It's, it's, you'll get it as a practice. You, know, you don't go in there saying this doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I mean, you it's, know? you know, basically, and you know, coming into today, if I, you know, you're playing on the Vipers, it's like you're trying to mentally get up, but you're playing a team that, that skunked you the day before, and then Excessive comes out and scores two points right off the bat. So they scored nine unanswered points against the Vipers. And then the Vipers made it a game. They came back, it was great, and they did what they had to do, but. Um, you know, that's just, it, it, it's just one of those things where you don't want it to really let it get away from you. Um, and then Excessive just, they had a little bit more in their tank. Now, Excessive's playing Vicious. So Excessive's already warmed up today. Yeah. Um, and Vicious is coming in. This is their, you know, obviously they, they may have had a buy into the finals. So, so is, is that how it worked? They had a, uh, yes, they didn't play anybody today. This is their first game and yeah. only game. A, a buy into the finals. So the one thing, though, I've just really kind of realized is that when, Teams are the teams that are doing good, right-handed in the snake. They're getting the kills right-handed. Mm -hmm. um, that last one, you know, vicious shot, Thomas out, pretty much off the break, right-handed, and now excessive comes back right-handed down the snake and pulls that one out against vicious. Got about 30 seconds left to go. Do you, do you, why don't? How come you guys don't practice vicious? Do you guys practice vicious? No. Why not? Um, there's not a lot of pro teams in the Midwest. No, there are not. Uh, you know, we never really kind of thought about it. It was always kind of like with it being poly and a warp thing, maybe running in a shock tech thing just didn't mix. Didn't um, really work out. No, I mean, they're eight hours away. Well, um, it'll make both you guys better. It's for the greater good kind of, you know. That's definitely something to look at. Uh, we've been talking to a couple teams about, yep, and here we go with the break. So poly in that back center again. Vicious for losing. Oh, it's just losing somebody. Losing two, both corners. Excessive also losing two off the break on that snake side. Wow. Car crash beginning of this particular point. So it's three on three right off the bat. Both teams losing two off the break. 
Vicious filling out to that little cake on the snake side. Oh, back center, excessive back center player guy taking a hit to the face. So now excessive has no one on the snake side. Two guys living it up there on the treats. Let's see if this Vicious can capitalize on that if they realize there's no one over there. Well, Vicious uh, finally gets out to the back corner on the snake side. There's no one on this side for excessive. So, see, you can, you know, I noticed the difference between, like, you know, we just watched, the, you know, Dynasty and Iron Man throw down mm -hmm. is the timing. You know, is that this guy comes out here and he's got to realize there's no one here. Like, I don't know, why did he stop here? I understand the back corner shooting at him, but all he has he, to do is just go all the way to the end. Around, and, yeah. Go around, get in the Dorito, and come out and shoot. I'm going to get Polly on a run through. Looks like he got, he didn't get though, did he? No, did I don't know, what, Some, he kind of fell and they didn't call any, someone blew the horn. There's, I, somebody blew the horn for a strike, I don't know if that was like. Someone conceded the point, but when Paulie went up and through, he kind of stumbled a little bit and I didn't see any refs pointing or calling anybody out. I'm not quite sure what happened over there. And it looks like excessive conceded the point because it looks like Vicious now has three on the board. All right, so the score now going to be, so yeah. Vicious okay. 3, yeah, vicious excessive, three two. excessive 2. Got to live off the break. It's so tough on this field, though, to, to consistently do that, especially if you're going against good laners. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, and so when you were talking about uh, your differences uh, between the semi-pro teams and the pro teams reacting, you know, watching the Ironmen and having played them, they're a team that when they see something happen or they hear something from their coach, they react instantly. You know, that's what a big difference for the pro teams and the semi-pro teams that you watch here. Um, there's people with the reaction times and the instinct to go down the field when they hear nothing or hear a call. Not nothing. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> oh, you're doing a good job, Nick. You're good at this. And uh, thanks again for helping out with all the stat stuff. The cup. That was really cool. Oh, no problem. Say so this is because we're trying to take this, you know, I mean, I know you're, you understand the vision. We're trying to get that, that type of information catalog that's important to the future of the sport. And it's, it's definitely, it's awesome to watch and to see, um, you know, after, after doing the confirmed kills at uh, cup and then talking to people about it, other players, mm -hmm. they want to come up here and they want to see that. Yeah. You know, and it's not it's not so much, well, how many did I get? You know, what did I do as a player? But, you know, what does that mean? How can I take that information and analyze it? And then for me, just sitting back and watching paintball that way, forcing, being forced to watch it, to mm -hmm. watch how players react, it definitely helps me when I have to play those other guys, you know, on the field. Yeah, totally. And it's interesting, too, because a lot, at first, a lot of some people were like, oh, I don't know, how would you, it's too fast. I'm like, not really. I mean, and that's the thing. But once you come up here and you do it, you realize, no, you can get that information. All oh. right, look at the breakout right here. Now, Thomas Taylor getting in there into snake one and shooting cross field. Vicious, vicious dropping their Dorito corner play off the break. Losing. Looks like he's clean. Oh, and then Vicious getting it, trying to one-hand gangster got Thomas, but it wasn't able that to was do it. was not enough. Thomas tears him up. They lose Anthony, it looks like, though, behind Thomas. We got Pauly in the pins for Vicious doing a little work. And Vicious loses third player. So that's Thomas chopping up down the cross field. So we got a four on two in Excessive's favor. Vicious have Pauly in the pins and their snake corner. Pauly's oh, he's trying to sneak a hit on a pack, and he did it. So Thomas Taylor's having a game. Yeah, they're finally trying to get over there get, and call Pauly out, so they're able to do that. There's just one guy left in that snake corner. He's going to have to get tight. Excessive coming down the Dorito side. And here comes Thomas running down the snake. And, and I don't understand what, what the vicious player thinks he's doing. <clears throat> just didn't hear the horn, apparently. So nice job by Thomas. I think he got about three kills in that point right there. And, uh, Thomas would like to send a shout out to his uh, lady friend Tiffany. Oh, hello. So, about 12:20 on the clock. It's all tied up three piece. Definitely a battle, going back and forth here between excessive and vicious. So you're watching Big Rich Telford there walk off the field, and uh, yeah, great battle back and forth. You know, um, 12 uh, got about 12:21 on the clock. All tied up at three apiece, and both teams. It's like, you know, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a, it's a grudge match fight right now, honestly, because there's really nothing that one team needs to do necessarily. I mean, obviously, both teams are at certain points. The points are losing; they're losing guys off the break. Yeah. But it's going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So it's not like a repetitive pattern necessarily. It's like, mm -hmm. well, if they could do this, I mean, obviously, yeah, don't die off the break, but. Neither team is really has any holes. It's just that you know, like Thomas had a good point there. So, if first excessive to have success, they're going to need 
Thomas and Conrad to be getting in that snake and producing kills and getting guys down that Dorito side. I think that's one thing that Excessive doesn't necessarily have. I mean, they have good snake players and they have guys coming down that Dorito side as well, but that may be something that Vicious has a little bit more of, I think, is like some of their, I think their guys on that side are handling their business a little bit more. But well, say what it appeared, you know, it's, it would appear so, like a mm -hmm. push this way, push back, you know, I'd, you gotta hit the you get the the nail right on the head it's there. It's just that tough one, you know, though because if this is a game where it's like I, you can't put your finger on exactly what each team needs to do necessarily. I mean, yeah. obviously, yeah, the ABC is a paintball. You know, it's shoot your lands, get kills off yeah, the break. Yeah, and get react kills from off there. the break, react from there, um, take spots when you get. I guess that's probably the, the, one of the intangibles that needs to be added in as we're starting this next point right <laughs> yeah. here. Is that, yeah, is it, you know, take what the other team gives you. If the other team's going to give you a move, take it, because the moves are so hard to get anyway, <laughs> yeah. that if somebody's not shooting at you, it's like, okay, yeah, you dive, you dove into Snake 1, or you got into Snake 50. Need but if that side's clear, at least head check on the lane. If, if your bunker's not being exploded with paint, you need to at least head check that next lane, and you need to walk the field so that <clears throat> you have that. You just react when you, yeah. you have that. You realize, you recognize the situation at hand, and then you just react. Say so Vicious lost one off the break on that point. Looks like excessive. I see four. So they ran oh, Thomas just, again. This is just dropped two guys. Both corners just dropped simultaneously right there. So the, you know what? You no, know it does need to happen if one team wants to win this as well. It could go back and forth, back and forth. But you get that momentum. Get a couple quick points. Maybe a couple, you know, not necessarily quick points, but win a couple definitive points. Mm -hmm. Get the momentum going. Get your morale up. We got a five on two. Excessive on vicious with two. This is doing pretty good. Yep. This is just dropping their snake player. One Excessive's got a great spread cross field. Five guns up, five alive. And here comes Thomas Taylor hunting in the center. Tears apart the last guy in the center back. Thomas is easy doing it, man. He's having his game. Yeah, Thomas He's is on fire right now. And that's what they need. I mean, Excessive needs Thomas to be playing on at this type of level if they're going to be winning tournaments. Because... He's their star player, obviously. And you know, know? so you say that level, this is semi-pro. It's with it's Rich Telford and Thomas Taylor playing you know, semi-pro paintball. They're, you know, these guys aren't semi-pro paintball players. These no. are pro paintball players, and it shows. But yeah, you know, you know it, it, it's, it's, it's like it does show. And it, but it's interesting, though, because I've you know, been asked this by some people and be like, well, how come you know, they're not playing pro? They play pro in their other league, blah, blah, blah. And, and I understand, but I think it's a smart decision for them, you know? Um, I, in the sense that we have so many young guys. Well, if I was excessive, yeah. I mean, you go in if you go into semi pro and dominate, and make let those guys, the kids, the new kids on the team, learn, learn how, how to win. win. <laughs> yeah, there Jinx, you go. Show me beer. Oh. <laughs> All right. Learn how to win. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to win. It's so important because you go out there and it's like, it, it it's kind of tough because the win is elusive. How to win? Mm -hmm. You know, and they don't come very often, especially. We, we mean you're guys, you're playing against the best players in the world. You know, even the semi pro guys. We're talking about the level of t you know tournament ball. It's it's really difficult. So yeah. if you can come like and those are, like some people ask me like when do I know? Well, we kind of want to play D one or something like that. I'm like, hey, that's awesome. I mean, congratulations to you for having the heart and the will to want to do that. And if you want to do that, awesome. You think you guys are at that level, but it is smart to try to start in you know if you have a new team, start in D three. Not oh. obviously with excessive, but if like if you have a new team. That might be the smart move for you, and that's oh, definitely. If you, you know, like look at X Factor. When X Factor first came up, they started in D3, they won the division, or they won, they won the championship. Yeah, I had the, I had the pleasure of playing them. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, beat us the first day, uh, World Cup 04, beat us the first day, put us in the loser bracket, and we came all the way back, played them in the finals. It was a closer game, but they really? still beat us. Yeah, that was, that was a good time. I love those guys. Got about five seconds to go here. Yeah, no, they're great, man, and, and that's so that's the thing. They're just like you said, they beat you, and then so we're watching the breakout. But they played D3, won the championship. Then they jumped to D1, which was a ballsy move, and they won that championship, and then they went to pro. So that, that's a smart thing. So it is kind of, yeah, it would be good for Excess if they could, you know, win some tournaments this year and those get some wins, some W's under those kids' belts. And Vicious is in that same road. You know, they yeah. have started all the way from the D, you know, D3 X-Ball and worked their way up, and they have, you know, gotten the wins in every single level they've played. And that's why we, you know, we showed some interviews with some divisional leaders. Like we had an interview with Greg Paul. He's talking about the grind, how hard it is economically for these guys to get the reps in that they need. And uh, Mike Kimmon, who has a bunch of divisional teams, you know? Oh, yeah. So we're mirrored up here, though. Excessive and Vicious both in the snake. We got Thomas in the snake for, uh, for Excessive. Four on four action. So uh, four on four right now. Oh, Rich Telford making a move over to the stand-up can. And he's got Junior Brown in front of him. At the Dorito. 
I, see, I noticed uh, Rich, like, last couple points, uh, taking some bounces off that his head there. Really? Yeah, he's been checking his head. He's been wiping it with he's his hand. He's got to be careful, man. He's got that. I think he's got that beanie on. Might be a little good luck, good luck charm. So, that scares me. You just saw the vicious player crawling backwards on the snake. Yeah. I don't like doing that. No. I do not like turning my back on the snake. No. Oh, Rich yeah, taking the walk. So Rich dies out of that stand-up can. Is just Junior Brown, I think, over here on the Dorito side for excessive. So it's three on four right now. Is there a guy in that uh, Dorito one? I can't see. From I the cannot spot. tell from the spot. Uh, I'm pretty I sure. think it is. Yeah, the bunker's moving back and forth. So look at Greg Pauly. It's out Greg in the middle Pauly in the blind, in the blind spot. Oh, he got picked up. He got and I think he got bounced off his chest. Yeah. Yep, got bounced off his chest. All, all the other divisional vicious guys all stoked. <laughs> Greg's got some extra padding up in there. Yeah, just a little bit. So four on three. Four on three. Paulie now going back to the back center. He's moving all over the place in this game. Uh, excessive taking that 50. <clears throat> Junior Brown. Oh, oh, he, oh, he might have got shot across right. field. Ooh, Thomas Taylor. He's going to get run down in here on the inside. And the vicious player doesn't clean. Thomas Whoa. taking a couple extra. Extra from Polly. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. That was impressive. I think that's... Um, I think that's Dalton. Dalton from... Uh, yeah. That's Dalton, former SD Aftermath guy. One-handed, the excessive player running to the corner. Oh, look at that. Himself. Speaking of one-handed shots, uh, the a vicious player in the center of the field just got a one-handed shot on uh, Junior Brown, back of his head. Wow, boom, boom, 45. He was like, gonna go load. He was gunned up one-handed, and then he was just like, yeah, I'm gonna take this shot one-handed. Bam! <laughs> it's like, you know when you're at the field and you're playing horse or pig oh, yeah, or something? Yeah, exactly. It was like Call your shot. shot. It was like, all right, a uh, little notch of the tree with one hand. Right Left-handed. Left-handed. <laughs> all right, well, uh, Vicious taking that point. I think we're gonna be tying it up then back four to four now. Wow. It's going back and forth. Great man. match. We've battle. had a lot of great matches today, but, you know, it's to be expected. It's Sunday. It's, you know, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. And, Sunday you know, paintball is Sunday huge. paintball is huge. Sunday paintball is when the big boys come out to play and when uh, you know, we really see who has been stepping up their game. Yeah, for the first event, these teams are doing great. You know, definitely can tell these teams have put the time in. So 4-4, four, so. four, 8 minutes and 17 seconds left. There's a decent chance that, well, no, nah, there's a lot of time. I wouldn't say that it's going to go to time. We've only seen, like, I think maybe one match go to time so far. Really? The Russians had a match that went to time. With um, Tampa Bay? You I think, think that first six, one? 6-2 to two or something oh. like that. Oh. Um, Never mind. So, yeah, Scratch so that. there hasn't been a lot of, of games to go to time. I think there's an. I don't. I don't think this one's going to go to time either. We'll see. It, it's a yeah. lot of it has to do with the breaks, you know. Because if the get those kills off the break, not and the then breaks like generally like oh it's the breaks, you know. But uh, but it, off the break. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say for it being Sunday, it is beautiful outside. It's been beautiful all week here. It has. It's sunny Phoenix. This reminds me of home right now, actually. Now I got five. We have less clouds normally. Oh, I got five inches of snow at home. I'm excited to go five, back. Five inches of snow. That's my my dad said. I called him and talked to him. He's like, yeah, it's snowing up here. What did it warm up to? Has it warmed up to any yet? No. <laughs> uh, it was a couple of weeks ago. It was like 60 degrees. Really? And then the next day is 35. I love Chicago weather. I do love Chicago a lot. It's one of my <laughs> favorite cities. I do not love Chicago weather. Yeah. It's Coming up 400 on. degrees in the <laughs> summer and 400, negative 400 yeah. degrees of wind chill in the winter. Sweet home, But Chicago. the people are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. All right, excessive taking the snake off the break. Cross shooting immediately. Vicious filling the snake now. Now Dalton getting into that snake uh, one again. See if he can do some work. Oh, uh, Vicious dropping first one from the Dorito corner. Then Dalton getting oh, a kill, wow. shooting cross, filling that D1 lane. God, it's been a battle, man. Again, and, and it's been so seesaw back and forth with tons of stuff. People die off the break, no people dying off the break. Guys coming down the snake, guys going down the Dorito side. Like all over the place. Now, this, you know, see who wants it the most. This is this is what you want right here. Both these teams deserve to be here, and you know, they're definitely grinding it out. This is good to see. Some good paintball action. So again, vicious and excessive, both with four. Both in the snake. Trying to feel each other out right now. Conrad Rangel trying to get a crossfield shot. I've been telling Conrad's story uh, this weekend a little bit. Um, you know, I haven't heard it. Well, in case you guys just tuned in, 
Conrad Rangel and Snake One for uh, for excessive. You know, basically when we first started excessive, he was one of those guys that was just at the field in NorCal. He was a high school wrestler, you know, tough kid, and um, he would just show up and just want to get a game, just stand there for hours, hoping just waiting, so, to, fill just waiting to fill in one just one game. You know, and slowly but surely, over time, he started getting reps, and now he's pretty much starting for the team. You know, well, that's, so. that's awesome. That's a nice way to work your way up the food chain. Yeah, he earned it too. You know, he's always there. Good guy, team player. It's definitely what you want. You need that in the yeah. team. You know, and here he is in the finals playing on Sunday. That's something to be really proud of. It is. You it know? is something to be proud of. You know, I mean, win, lose, or draw, if you're here playing on Sunday, I mean, this is what we all, you know, grind for. So, see, look at this, the slow points I was talking about once once they, they, these guys get set in their yeah. spots. Because it is tied. And, you know, you don't want to be that guy. <laughs> you know, the guy that everyone talks about when you're not there because you died out of your bunker <laughs> and lost us the tournament. Yeah, I've had that. I've, I've been that guy a couple times. <laughs> we've all, like, we've, all, like we've, all been, we've all been that guy. <laughs> Looks like Rich was looking to make a move there. Out of the back center, just taking, staying put. Yeah, this is definitely a lot, you know, slow now. Everyone pretty much made it off the break. They lost one each, but slow. No one's taking the risk, feeling it out, playing a little methodical paintball. Oh, look at that. Back, oh. back player I guess I right spoke behind too soon. Dalton dying out of his bunker. Like this, that's what we're talking about. This is making a big move up there to the 50 Dorito on that Dorito side. Dalton's still, you know, real calm and collective in here in the Snake One. And well, I say excessive has now moved up. Excessive has moved up now to that snake Dorito. Cross shooting. So Rich wants to make a move. You can tell by his body language. Oh yeah. Oh, vicious loser, <coughs> uh, 50 Dorito player. Oh wow, that's a big loss. For, and and the longer, well, there's still again tons of time left. We're under five minutes to I play though now. Oh, oh Rich, look at Rich. Oh, that's what he was calling for a referee. He said he had his hand up. Hey, Rich, what do you got to say? Yeah. Vicious phone out to that Dorito one now. Three on two, excessive with a three. Dalton shooting a lot of pain. He's got four pods on the ground there, playing really, really controlled and calm there in the snake one for Vicious. Yeah, it's, and it's going to be up to Dalton really, well, obviously now to pull this off. Now here, this is kind of where. And you might not have any paint left. Well, is it just uh, Dalton? Is uh, it just Dalton? No, they have it. Vicious has a D1 player. Okay. The guy in the Dorito one. Okay, because I was going to say, if it's Dalton, you need to blow that horn, preserve the time. There's still tons of time over Come four up minutes. Come four minutes. Conrad Rangel's going to uh, try to... Oh, Dalton takes wow. it from the inside. Wow, so nice job. Uh, was it inside? He, yeah, he went inside to shoot inside. It was Anthony there on the other side of the field. But then uh, <laughs> Conrad dropping from the stake two for... So it's a two-on-one, excessive on the one vicious player on the Dorito side. And they're creeping on him. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. I mean, it's that yeah, there we go. go. There he drops. So excessive takes a slight lead here, one point lead. That finally now vicious throwing that flag. Um, so the score is now five to four in favor of excessive. Back and forth. Yeah, three back minutes and forth fifty foul. seconds left in the game. You know, if there's any more long point, well, you know, Four. seven seven wins it. You know, three minutes and fifty seconds left. There's some more long points like this. It might come down to time. It might. 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 Well, I was definitely thinking that we were going to get one of those long points, you know, by, at this point because uh, because it was just kind of going that way. Um, I would say it definitely seemed pretty quick in the beginning, and now it's slowing down. Yeah. So uh, don't go anywhere. After we have uh, and we determine our semi-pro victor here Champions at the Phoenix. the Phoenix Open, we have the uh, concession third and final game um, where the Russians are going to be taking on uh, Dynasty for third and fourth. See who wins that game. Um, and then right after that, we have a rematch of the World Cup. That's going to be pretty cool. That'll be a lot of fun. It's going to be interesting to see. And you know, I was just—I ran into uh, Jay Trojan, the coach yeah. for for Philly, and I was like, "Hey, man, you guys look pretty good." And he said, um, "You know, I was like, but it's going to be a tough game." He's like, "We are so tired of taking second place because they've taken two second places last, last year, year at the end of the year." Yeah. You know? So I mean, at their in, in front of their, home in their hometown, hometown, that hometown was crowd, that, you know, they took second that. place. I think didn't Dynasty win that one? Yep, Dynasty took it from them. So, you know, they lost to Dynasty at that one, and then, then they lost to the Ironman next time. So, 
Yeah, World Cup. And they beat the hell out of the Russians. That was, yeah, I say, you know, the, watching the first game in the prelims where the Russians came back and kind of smashed, you know, Philly won, Philly smashed the first game. They blew their team out of the water. Mm -hmm. And the Russians came in, beat Philly, and then it was a complete reversal. Yeah, I know. You know got about game. 20, 15 seconds before the start of this next uh, point. Um, very important point here because if this excessive goes up right now with three minutes and 37 seconds left, like Vicious needs to come out, score a pretty fast point, tie it up. They don't want to go down two points w uh, with with such little time left because yeah. then they won't have any time to come back. And excessive, this you is know, huge. They, they this, could play be, smart. This, this definitely could be the game here. Vicious losing one off the break on the Dorito side, uh, Dorito corner. And they lose, Vicious loses two. Vicious loses three. I'm not sure if that was a, penal a hot gun penalty maybe. Yeah, this is not looking good for Vicious right now. Let's see if the excessive can capitalize. Major penalty on Vicious. Oh, wow. Well, I see one minute. Is it? Are you sure? I see yeah, the, red the red flag. flag I see the red flag. Oh wow! So they got they got a penalty, and well, okay, major penalty. Yeah. So they throw the major penalty up there, and that's probably gonna do it. Um, yeah. Because there's yeah, it's it's probably gonna do it. Yeah. So they're right. gonna throw it. So excessive now, one point away from a semi-pro victory here at the Phoenix Open. Wow. So to go back to that uh, that Philly, <laughs> Philly, Philly uh, um, Russians game, the only oh, the only yeah, the only shining light, the only shining light for the Russians was Justin Rabakov. And let me tell you, man, even last year, you know, doing the kill counts, mm -hmm. he was shining was at he? World Cup. He so was, was getting just, those kills. The stars rising, dude. I'll tell you what, man. Honestly, like I haven't seen moves like that, like. You know, say I mean, I'm serious. I haven't seen anyone play like that in a while. I mean, yeah, those they went down that snake, got those kills. It's just the, it was the the calm, the calmness, the body language, the posture. You know, like just how he was setting kills up in his head before he would do them. You know, you know, a lot of guys that go out and you're fighting and you're you're playing, but it was more like he's you know he's running with his head up too, and that's important because a lot of people don't understand. You're running your bunker. You want to watch the lower division teams, and they're running their bunker head, head down, down, just trying to make their spot, and then they dive in head, face first, and then they look up and they're like, okay. What's going on? You know, you watch the mm -hmm. better guys out here. They're running. They're so low to the ground, but they always have their eyes up, and they're looking for streams of paint so they can dodge out of the way. Or if Just no one's shooting at them, they're going to keep going. That's what Justin make was that doing. Next move, you know? I think with that, these younger players doing that, I think that's kind of they're kind of relying on their coach too much. I yeah. think they need to, you know, go and play some five-man guys. Yeah. <laughs> play no coaching. And just you know, keep your head up and you look look for those moves. Learn how you to know, play paintball, basically. Like, pretty much, yeah. You know, start from scratch. Well, because it, it is, it's a very mental thing. So we got uh, about 20 seconds left to go now. Excessive one point away from winning the semi-pro division. This is with a major. Yeah, and a lot of people were like, oh, well, you know, excessive in the semi-pro division. Are they sandbagging? They've been pro for a long time. It's a famous name. Um, everyone's seen Heroes for a Day. By the way, CK2 is coming out. Um, so make sure to start asking your stores to order those. Um, basically. It, it's not break. really, yeah, they're not really sandbagging. Let's look at the well, uh, break. No, I mean, the well, no, I mean, everyone's been reclassified. No, you know? I mean, I'm just saying I'm trying to, you know, confront that because I'm sure the Internet haters will say something about that. Stop. But, but basically, a lot of these guys on this team, Rich, just brought these guys up, you know, so... And, uh, and pros, uh, semi-pros are pretty much pro anyway, you know, I mean, so close. Oh, well, yeah, I'd agree with that. I mean, at least the top team's in the semi-pro. Vicious and excessive, you know. Uh, so, you know, Thomas Taylor getting shot off the break, definitely not going to help excessive chances of closing this game out right now. And, in fact, that evens it up with four apiece because uh, Vicious was able to keep all four alive off the break. So, good breakout. They got Very good player for and Dorito won. And they have Vicious now still has, they have a minute left on their major penalty. So, if they can hold out here, two minutes coming up on two minutes left in the game. Look at Rich Telford. Big fill. Look at oh, that. he's got to make it out there, hopefully. And, and he makes it out. Clean. So... Now that's definitely a better field position for him. Now Vicious needs to get into Snake One. Somehow, some way, they need to get into Snake well, One. Well, they need to make this happen. They've got 40 seconds left on their penalty and uh, just under a minute 50 left in the game. Well, if, I'll tell you what. So let's say it's a minute 46 left. They get their guy back. It's The problem is, though, is it's you got to kill four guys. So it's going to take some time. And that doesn't even tie the game. Yeah, They're and that, still down and by that one doesn't point. even tie the team. So they, they need to start to get it going. But that's the thing. If I'm if I'm the back corner guy on the snake side right now, like he's on his knees. <coughs> what I don't know what he's doing. <coughs> he's oh, on his he, knees. Oh, there he goes. Now he makes it all the way up. He's going all the way up the field. And he forgets about the Dorito side. Yeah, I, it's just, you know, I, I'm all for dying going forward. So I'll give him props for that. 
but uh, but you got to be smart. Why not go into Snake One, put somebody in, he maybe been, then run the highway or something? You well, know, he could have been in Snake One and shot the guy that shot him. Okay, well, this just getting their guy out, but now we're cracking a minute. Junior Brown dies out of his bunker though over there on that on the uh, the stall, tall stand-up temple, and Vicious now in a 50-yard line Dorito, and here they come streaking up the field. He's going to try to run all the way through, and he's going to do it. Gets all the way into the backfield. Oh, gets and no, and draws a penalty. Another penalty on Vicious, but Vicious is going to walk in with the flag. Okay, so flag. here's this is still possible for them to tie it up. It's 45 seconds left. Well, that was a good run by that Vicious player. Uh, unfortunately, he did grab a minor penalty on it. Yeah, it was definitely a good run. Well, he knew, well, you know what? He knew what he had to do. Well, he yeah, had to he make something happen, and he did. Okay, well, here's the problem. They're one point away, okay? 45 seconds left. Absolutely doable. However, they have four guys. Four guys. Well, you know, they key up, and they get a kill off the break, and they react, you know, they react the correct way. I'm just definitely saying it's possible, but, yeah, you know, you got that penalty. Um, it's going to be tough for him. But, you know, if you were to run a really fast point on here, and I, we haven't seen a lot of, like, situations like this in any of the games that have been out here where yeah. somebody needed to score a 45-second point. So what, what would you do? Would you double up the X? I mean, I mean, no, I saw you know Oliver, what? Oliver played well up, the, <clears throat> up in the center, you know, so he's it's, it's possible to get up there off the break. I would, there's, that, there's that Dorito right there on the X on the Dorito side. You know, like you see a lot of teams playing those pins. You get up in that Dorito and you shoot inside, you'll chop that guy up trying to fill out or even getting there. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely have my shooters off the break. Probably, probably stack two in the back. One guy going up to that, that uh, mat stick, shooting straight on, trying to get up to that Dorito to shoot inside. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a runner out on the snake side, going to those pins to shoot back into the B. You know, try and definitely try and get those kills off the break. Uh, you know, they got 45 seconds to do it. With Rolling that dice. <sighs> Well, this is Let's it. Go. This, this Sunday, man. Oh, this is this is seven. This awesome. Is, this is for it. No, and that's the thing. It's their own <coughs> choice anyway. So that's why I'm pretty I'm excited to see this point because they have to come fast. They have to come hard and heavy up, and they've got to at least do something with the center. It's not like you can streak the tape and then run up, gunned up. I mean, you could do that, but you're going to be running into guns. As excessive is just going to be like, all right, we know you're coming. I mean, that's exactly what Rich is saying. Thomas are saying right now to the yep. guys. Look, hey, they have to come fast. Get in your spots. Hold the lanes down. Don't let it run down our throats. We'll be fine. No penalties. And no penalties. And so they're yeah. up a body. So, it, you know. And then I believe someone's got a timeout. Yeah, they just call a timeout. Obsessive taking a timeout. Okay, so while well, we got, you know, a little timeout here before the start. And this is this is going to be it, basically. So we're 45 seconds away. Obsessive calls a timeout trying to ice down Vicious. Maybe make him think about, okay, well, mm, all right, well, should we do that? Should maybe I should go here, you know, just throw a little mm -hmm. bit of ice on that on that heat to score that last point. I say both teams, though, got veteran, you know, veteran leaders on the team. Excessive has got True. Telford. Uh, Vicious has got Pauly. You know, these guys have been around paintball a long time. They have won tons of tournaments, tons of games. You know, they're going to they know what to do. And they're both going to have some. It'll be interesting to see what their game plans are for both teams. Oh, absolutely going to be interesting to see. Um, and this is just going to decide it here. Either we're going to see an overtime or we're going to see an excessive winning the semi-pro division. Yep. And then right after that, we have the third and fourth game, Dynasty taking on the Russians. That's going to be awesome. And then immediately after that, we got the Pro Finals, a rematch of World Cup, Philadelphia Americans taking on Los Angeles Ironman. Can't wait that will for that be game. An both awesome those teams game. are just stunting right now. It's going to be it's going to be cool. And honestly, I'm I'm real, I want to see Justin play again. Like I'm Justin's play excited. I was stoked for. It. I was like, yeah. wow, I had, like you're on fire, kid. No, he is. You know, and say Where's he's 19. Where's he picking I'm, this stuff I'm, up from? Where's I'm proud Scuba of him. Steve's got to be teaching I'm him some back home. I'm honestly I'm there. proud of him because you know, I played with him on energy. I've known him since he was like 8 oh, years you, old. Yeah, you so say you've grown up with him, haven't you? Yeah, I mean I had to duct tape him one time in the uh <laughs> in the dye warehouse. <laughs> oh man. Uh, coming up on 20 seconds for this breakout. He's, a, he's 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 definitely growing. He's become a man now. You know, it's really cool to see. So, I'm stoked for him. And I'm I'm happy for his pops too cuz his pops has worked real hard to make him into a good paintball player. And uh, they're both intense personalities, so they butt heads sometimes. I, yeah, I can only imagine. He's a Rabikoff, man. He's a Rabikoff. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. 45 seconds left to go. Let's see if Vicious can bring it here. Yeah, they spread the field, but no. Oh. Move up the field. You'll say basically they're trying to get some G's here. Oh, nice move with Dalton. Dalton is mowing up. So Dalton made it all the way up, and he's just going to come up and he's, shoot. He's a cross shoot. Yep, there's a an, defeat. An I mean, how do you let that happen? How, if you're Junior Brown, and I love Junior, but you, okay, From, well at least he, at least somebody shot Dalton. Yeah. But you know that's gonna happen, man. Well, if you that, saw those guys streak out that side. And that spot controls a snake if you shoot inside. Yeah. You know you should know this field, know that shot. It's gonna it's it doesn't look good though with uh, 12 seconds left to go here. And yeah. Yeah. This this game's over. This, 
But I, I mean, you, dude, what are you doing sitting in the back of your bunker? You're about to lose a tournament. Giddy up. There we go. Moving up there. Too little, too and late. And that's going to be it. That was, yeah, that wasn't, I wasn't too happy with the way Vicious did that. I mean, Dalton knew what he had to do. You know, he plays a snake and he went down the snake. But that, you know, I'm not really happy with how Vicious played that one. Well, I mean, I, I, I the Dalton made an awesome move. He got there and he got two kills right away. But his back player, after Dalton got shot two kills right away, cut on the inside, do something, man. You're going to lose the tournament. Tournament, it's the wind is slipping away from your grasp. But he's got nothing to lose, man. You got to get up there and you got to get that to get those lose. kills. Nothing to lose at all, at all. And, and that's, that's, I mean, if I'm a coach and I'm watching that right now, I would go immediately down there. I'd be like, what were you doing, man? You're going to lose us. We're, we're, the tournament's lost. Make, try to make something happen. You never know until you try. Exactly. You never know until you try, man. Exactly. You, you can definitely run and grab that flag and sprint from that back corner over there in 20 seconds. And, by, less the, than and that. by the time that Dalton had got in there and shot those guys, there was still about 25 seconds left. You know, I'm not sure exactly how much time it was, but enough time for that guy to do something. But anyway, regardless, I'm proud of Vicious because they they stomped everyone. They beat Excessive before, and you know, I really love Paulie's program. So um, and, they made, program. and they made it to the finals. But you know, I'm definitely really proud of Excessive uh, taking this first semi-pro victory here. At the Phoenix Open, you're seeing Thomas Taylor super stoked. Yeah, they're and all the, out there. All those young guys on excessive, and, you know, they worked hard. They've been training really hard, really working hard for this win. So, and like we said, that's the reason excessive is playing semi-pro. They want to they want to get that W. You know and they're teaching, you know, speaking of teaching players, young players how to win right there. That's number one season on the season. All right, so uh, I'd like to thank Nick Sloviak. Again, congratulations to Excessive and, you know, Vicious losing a heartbreaker. But Excessive, our semi-pro victor here at the Phoenix Open. Thanks, Nick, for stepping in and Thanks helping me out here. Thanks for having me, Maddie. It's always a pleasure. Can't wait I to love what's going on. love watching this at my, at my hotel, my laptop. No problem, man. And, uh, you know, just trying to do a good job of getting the word out. And, um, you know, looking forward to seeing you guys evolve the, the Aftershock name back up to, to be a powerhouse that's, team. You know, that's, you know... It's a dream of mine, you know. It was a dream of mine to become, you know, become a player on this team, mm -hmm. and being able to watch them from when I first started, you know, playing paintball at Badlands, and then, you know, like I can get to practice against them. Even like, I got to, my favorite moment is I got to start a ten-man game between AfterShock and Shock Tech, <laughs> and like I think it was Billy Sernansky who looked over at me and said, "Hey, kids, start the game." I'm like, "Me? Okay." <laughs> game in five, and I was. I was like, I just did that, man. Yeah, and now you're, you know, on the team, and it's the stewardship is of the of the franchise, and the legend is in your guys' hands. Yeah, you know, we want to bring it back, put another trophy on the mantle, because, you know, they've got them all. We'll handle it. I got it. this. Do it. All right, man. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna be back in just a few moments here at the live PSP Phoenix Open webcast. We got two more awesome games coming at you. Uh, again, Dynasty going to take on Russian. You definitely are going to want to see Justin Rabikoff play because he's, he's been, been on fire. On fire. I mean, like I said, week. that's like Olang stuff. I mean, seriously, I mean, that's like Fedorov back in the day or Oliver when he's playing his best or Ryan or something. I mean, that's upper echelon stuff. So Yeah, so he's not gone unnoticed this tournament. What All he's right. been doing is... Yeah, seriously. I mean, at least to that last game, and they were getting they were getting killed too. So anyway, it's going to be awesome. It's coming at you in just a couple of moments. Matty Marshall, thanks a lot. Nick Sloviak, Chicago Aftershock. Remember the name? Peace out.